Good morning, 838, 69 and cloudy. We've had some rain here in Long Prairie. Of course, uh, that could be almost any day of the week, it seems. This is Open Mic, my special guest this morning, Long Prairie Mayor Jody Dixon. Good morning, Jody. Good morning to you. And uh, you didn't get rained on because it quit before you got here. It's sprinkled. But I had to run to the grocery store beforehand. So oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It seems like it rains and it rains. And it rains. But it only rains in Southern California or something. I don't know. There was a song like that. But no, it's huh. we've had enough rain. At least the grass has never gotten brown this year. <laughs> I know. I know. I still have to mow it once or twice a week now. <laughs> and the city has to mow a few, I'm sure, too. Oh, yes. Yes, they do. You had a meeting. We had a wonderful city council meeting last night. Um, yeah. We had uh, Ron Kresha from um, Golden Shovel. In her, he, um, he's also a state rep, right? Is that the same one? I don't think so. It I, is? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, Could really? Be. I never be. talked to him about that. Okay. <laughs> I talked to him about the uh, website shovel. proposal. No, what is the Golden Shovel? It is a website service. For, okay. Um, they do Little Falls, and actually they have 185 communities they work with. And then they also are going international. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because we need to update our uh, website, um, all the pages on our website. We need to come to the modern ages, sure. basically. Cause okay. That's what people do. They just look. They get their smartphone out and they want the information. If it's not there, they're just done. Right. I catch myself doing that. If I sure. can't find the answer within 15, 20 seconds, I'm on to the next thing. Yeah. We have a short attention span. Yes. So did yes. Well, did you get any results? Well, we got a lot of interesting um, – like there's this, I don't know, 10, 15-page proposal. Uh, we're out, we, you know, we are going to be looking at different other companies. Um but I'm kind of I personally I'm leaning towards this one because they do everything for you. Okay. You just have to submit what you want. Uh and then you have one uh, one meeting a month which is like an hour sure long with the company to go over things and they will update it pretty much in real time for okay. you. And it'll uh, be way sure. easier for Ted cuz he had to be he was working on our website Oh, it went down for like a week. Okay. And, you know, lots of hours, man hours went on on getting that going. And he has very – Right. So, other, a lot of other things to right, work so on. Right. So he's got a lot of other duties which right. are not getting done because he's trying to get the website back up. We didn't hire him to be an IT person. Right. right. Correct. So, yeah. So that's exciting. We'll keep you all in the loop about that. And, um, yeah. And then we just – basically we discussed the uh, – Citywide cleanup is still on the works. Um, but you haven't discussed the date yet, or you no, have? No, no, unfortunately not. We're working. We have to get a hold of the Public Works Department to see when the guys will be available to help us out with that. And I always tell everybody to clean my yard up in uh, February. Can't find it then in the snow. Yeah, I know. I said <laughs> I know. we better get moving on this. It's good. We got a few weeks left. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, and the leaves are turning quickly the way it looks. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I know. I know. It's, some so of those pro- trees are right. just gorgeous. So it's probably something you want to get done Soon. before, yeah, maybe Soon. maybe in October or something. ASAP, yeah. Yeah. yes. Yes, and then we also still talked about the um, upgrade for the Christmas lights and decorations for the light poles. Okay. Because uh, oh, the ones we have now are old and... I don't know, 30, 40 plus, I don't know, right. but they're old. And I know most places are going with the LEDs. Correct. Are, they may cost a little more to purchase, but in the long run, you save a lot on electricity too. Correct. So we're, so I get to go through and see what, you know, basically we can afford and what will look nice. And then we're debating if we should just get some lights for 71 Uh, And then wait till next year to get the new lights for Main Street once we get the new poles in. Sure. So that's – but something's going to be done this for this holiday season. Okay, sure. Don't know what yet, but something will be done. And Uh, hopefully it all – everything you'll need will be in the latest Sears wish book. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. That brings back memories. (laughs) I miss those days. I do, too. I do, too. Yes. Oh, Good memories I have. Right. Um, yeah. And we that just approved a um, uh, resolution for 
Uh, regarding the administration of the Minnesota Wetland Conservation Act, we approve resolution adopting the prim- preliminary tax levy. Okay. Um, we approve the invoice for Braun Intertect, and yeah. Now, CTC, did you approve that five-year contract for Correct. phone and internet service? Okay. Affirmative. Um, plus, there is a possible dog park coming to town. Okay. Uh, I believe it's a, um, the Baptist Church. Sure. Is going to let us use, they offered us to use land next to the, gar- um, help me out here, community gardens. Right. And um, we'll just have to, you know, get the fence and whatnot and get that going. So fingers crossed. Okay. They brought, they brought it up to us. It was wonder. Yay. Because we are a dog community. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm striving to get people talking to each other, and that's one way, you know, okay. to meet your neighbor, to meet people. Sure. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, other words, uh, there's been some issues in town that uh, certain people are not, like, working or living up to what their job descriptions are. Uh, well, like, for instance, me as mayor and i really don't think um the public is really informed i I know i wasn't when i ran you know when i was starting to run for mayor i didn't know what my job description was i didn't know anything like that so i thought i would just um bring it up to the community here what this is about okay um for one, there are several forms of city organization. Okay, well, first off, I'm going to make this as short as possible. <laughs> okay. Because it could go on and on. But uh, there's a weak mayor, strong mayor, and a council manager. Um, Long Prairie is the weak mayor council. Okay. And it says under the um, the ma- mayor's powers in the weak council system are no greater than those of other members of the council. So you're... More or less a glorified city council person. Correct. I should have said that, but no, exactly. It says the weak mayor has no extra nor extraordinary power to individually make administration decisions for the city. Okay, sure, it's done through the council. Correct, correct. I mean, I could give my opinion just like any other council member can give their opinion, right. and then the council votes on it. Right. Simple as that. Um, the legal powers or responsibilities of the mayor is uh, to be the ceremonial head of the city, uh, presiding officer council meetings, and then I could call meetings, executing official documents, power to make some appointments subject to council approval. Sure. So, you know, so, and, um, you know, for instance, it's the park board members, the uh, I could be the public library board members, hospital board members, but it has to be subject to council approval. Right. Filling a vacancy in council, if the council vote to fill the vacancy is tied, I could only vote if it's tied. Okay. Um, I also have election duties. So and, back up. So yes. the recent appointees. Yeah. You had nothing to do with. Oh no, no. The I council didn't. appointed though. Correct. Okay. If they all, if everybody chose someone different, then I can make the... Sure. Or if there was a tie right. on voting on anything, you can cast the deciding vote. That's exactly vote. right. Yes. Okay. Yep. Sorry to interrupt. I no, just to clarify that. Please do. Please step in whenever. Um, I have election duties, uh, declaring local emergencies. I'm the only one that can declare a local emergency. Weed inspector. You're a weed inspector. I'm a weed inspector, yes. So that starts right in your own garden. (laughs) (laughs) I inspect them every week (laughs) and see how they're growing. No, but... (laughs) Right, right. Yes, yes. Okay. And a fire investigator. Um, And then it says here... Oh, by the way, folks, I took this all out of the Minnesota Mayor's Handbook. Okay. Um, And you can find it online, I bet. Oh, yeah. Um, It says, and all this without being a full-time employee. Right. Yeah. Uh, I do not have... Okay, here are a few powers mayors do not have. Um, I'm not the head of the police department that was repealed. I am not... It does not include an automatic seat 
on the fire relief board. Here's a good one. I am the duty of the grasshopper inspector has been taken off and I cannot marry people anymore. Okay. Um, the mayor's role in citizen involvement is I'm supposed to be an advocate for the city story, the, be honest with the constituents, model respect, and share information freely, which I'm doing. <laughs> Engage citizens as citizens. Be an advocate for the aid for engaging youth and diverse communities with government. Now, off of the uh, chapter two, off the ordinances in on the Long Prairie page, it is duties of the mayor show. The mayor shall preside at all meetings of the council, and the mayor shall sign all ordinances or resolutions passed by the council. That's right. all it says. Okay. And I thought I would inform everybody the salary of the mayor is $200 a month. Okay. Before taxes. Okay, so it's 50 bucks. No, I'm just kidding. About 181. <laughs> okay. So I just thought I would inform everybody. And um, plus, I'm on several other boards in the community wellness boards, uh, EDA, um, several different wellness boards. Um, and it's the same people at all those boards that are trying to better the community. Right. I would like to see other people showing up. Right. It seems it's always the same group of people that are trying to do something. A lot of people say stuff, but don't get involved. Correct. I don't say anything cause I don't live in this community. So, but there are, yeah. Uh, People are complaining, you, but no one's doing anything except you, for the same people. You need the action to go with the words. Yeah, yeah. That's what so, I would like to see. Right. All right. Well, there, there. I'll step off my soapbox. Oh, I didn't know that was just. It looks like it said Georgia Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I should be more serious. Some people tell me, but uh, life is pretty serious anyway. So basically, like you said, the mayor role in Long Prairie is called light mayor. So that means. Weak. Weak mayor. Well, yep. Same thing, but it's weak. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah, so that means you have really no power to do anything except in certain situations where you want to break a tie. You can bring stuff forward, but it's still up to the actually the city council if they want to do it or if they don't want to do it. It's all the city council makes and breaks whatever's going on in town, basically, right? Correct. And you don't have any power with that, so. No, no, so if but I issue. could bring the people together. I right. could, I'm, I listen to if there's people have issues or concerns. Right. <clears throat> they come up to me, and then I bring it to the department that can correct it. Sure. So, and then I'm the liaison for the administration in City Hall. Right. And I help Ted and make sure he's on the right path, which he is. <laughs> right. Um, he's doing a wonderful job. So it's it's a lot of uh, work, and I signed up for it, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying meeting all the people. I'm enjoying helping people because that's my nature to begin with. Um, yes, I wish I could do more, sure. but my hands are tied like a lot of people's, but I could be the advocate. Right. So I've had a few mayors sit there since I've been here, mm -hmm. and basically it's the same thing. They seem to get... I don't know if I should say harass, but, but they kind of get the negative part of people's complaints, and, and and basically you can't really do much about it. You can talk about it and go to the board with it or the council or the city administrator, but if there's an issue with something, a lot of times you can, they're better off calling the city hall and talking to Ted and saying, Correct. this is going on here. What can I do or what can I do? Who can do something about this or whatever? And he would know. Or you may be able to say, yeah, I know I can't do anything about it, but this person can. Right? Right. So, right. Well, you know, for instance, I had, you know, complaints um, that would be directed towards the police chief um, and, you know, policing situations. And he said to me, he goes, why don't they just come to us? Right. I said, well, one, you're intimidating because you're a police officer sure. and I'm more approachable. But I think more would be done if people would... Reach right. out to the um, department heads. Right. This is kind of a loaded question. Uh, do you think you're treated different because you're a woman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll flat out say yeah. 
Because you're not the first woman to be Correct. Mayor. Ruth Kenzel was mayor for many years. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've been yeah, I've been told I don't know what I'm doing, which hey, I don't. Not I all don't. the time. You're learning. I'm learning. It's, right. I'm going to learn every day right. as a mayor every day. Um. But yeah. But if there's something you don't know, then I ask you, questions, and you need to find out how to do it the right yeah. way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm constantly asking questions to you know anybody. <laughs> why is this? Why is this? Why? What, do, why what, do we do that? And, what happens when a mayor gets elected with no? previous experience of administrating any like a town or whatever i mean is there a training period oh yeah yes um well not a training period um but there's a lot of training uh, a lot of conferences of course you um, came into a situation where you didn't have a city administrator yet <laughs> I, well there was dave D- yeah but he was interim but yeah still, but he was wonderful lot. yes oh my gosh he helped me out so i'd sit in his office almost every day for hours and right. say okay Explain this to me. And, sure. Um, and I'm sure people have told you, if you wanted to be mayor, so you better have thick skin. Oh, yeah. Right? And I am. Sure. I do. That's what, I mean, I just, but I'm like, I don't think people understand the. Right. And, you know, I want to inform them. This is all I can do. I wish I could do more. I wish I could, you know, put my fist down and say, this is going to be done right now. Sure. Um, I don't want to hear no complaining. I want this done, but I can't do that. Right. And, you know, when it comes to trying to bring businesses into town or trying to improve something, it's sometimes your hands are just tied. You can't do anything. Correct. You know, you can't go and tell a person, you better lower your price so somebody will come in here. Oh, gosh. (laughs) (laughs) You might suggest it. I could suggest it. Correct. (laughs) Well, you know, it's all about money when it comes to a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Money talks. But sometimes trying to save money costs more money in the end. So you have to be very careful. Yeah. You know. Yep. And that's when I started asking questions. and Right. It's like buying a cheap vacuum cleaner. Yeah. You end up buying another one later. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that I up. I don't know either, but that's okay. We'll just, because we'll just gonna, go with that, Cliff. Yeah. You're not, you don't want to sweep any dirt under the rug at city council meetings. Ooh, there we go. Right. <laughs> If someone wants to talk to you, I mean, you you're free to talk to, right? You got to they can call you, they can stop by. Yeah, or, senior centers open ten to three. Right, just stop, stop on by, have a cup of coffee. We'll sit down and discuss life and say how we could, how can we make it better, how can we make this area better. Right. I'm open for new, new suggestions, and actually, it was really beneficial to hear about the possible dog park because I've had people come in and want that. Okay. Um, we need more areas like that. We need more green space in town. And actually, do I got a minute? You have more than a minute. You have four okay. minutes. Okay. Um, the senior center is doing starting a fundraising um, effort to plant a tree uh, where the uh, Winnebago agency plaque is. Okay, I know in the parking uh, yeah. lot there. Yeah, and the yeah, right across lot. the street. From the Mexican bakery. Correct. And Correct. the kitty corner from the right. Yes, yes. Because the tree that was behind that bench died. And Rita uh, Dahl is working on, um, yeah, I listened to that rain out there. Right. Um, fit cleaning all that sure. up. That tree, that tree was removed recently. It was. Yeah. It, was it, there, it was one tree and then a whole bunch of little ones shot up around it and it just was a mess. It was a right. trash... Ooh, Thunder Boomers. Sure. Um, so anyways, we're collecting funds to plant a tree there in uh, memory of the Bennett family. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So you'll need a tree that's robust and strong and good for Minnesota winters. Yes. And, right. So we have the collection jar at the Senior Center. Are you, are you thinking of getting a tree maybe that's already pretty good size? I mean, you can't get too big, but something that... Uh, you know, that's not, not we, a we can't. No, right, right, right. Because there are companies that will deliver certain size so, trees. Yep. yep. Of course, that costs more money. Correct. So, but they have. To, is there a place where you can plant it where it, there's dirt or is there concrete? Dirt? That's going to be. Uh, that's it's, it's going to be in the same place okay. as the other one, and it's going to be. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the concrete's going to be sure. uh, going to be. Right. Okay. So we're hoping that that. Yeah, that we can so go just, forward with that. And just stop by the Senior Center if you want to help out then, right? Yep, we have the... Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. Affirmative. Right. And today's movie is The Lone Ranger, as I call it. Yeah. <laughs> 12.30, be there.
movie popcorn too really and pop oh yeah yep. okay sure and uh if you want to talk about the city stop in and see you right yep okay is there a phone number the best phone number to reach is probably at the center maybe it'd be the center or 218-324-3786 call me okay. on my cell well mayor thanks for coming in thank you and uh going through with everything that you did oh yeah sure if and anybody I'll- has any questions or whatever just let me know and that's open mic. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Uh, probably won't see it to October, huh? Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Summer went fast and fall's tripping over itself. Uh, that was a stupid pun. But anyway, thanks, Mayor. <laughs> thank we'll you. see you in a couple weeks or so. Sounds good. Thanks. Have a that, good day. You too. That is open mic here on KEYL. That was, of course, Long Prairie Mayor Jody Dixon. KEYL Long Prairie, KXDL Brower. Rain 69 degrees in Long Prairie. It is 9 o'clock.